Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we are building all Haytham. I said in the wishing video that I want to build them and today we are going to try to do that. Now you'll see on the map there is a whole new region for us to explore which is going to be very very fun to do because the boss that has the Alhatham mat is locked somewhere within this region so we are going to have to find him before we do anything. With all that being said let's get in to the video now you guys probably won't see this for a couple days but i'm recording this like directly after my wishing video because i really want to build all hatham because i'm really excited to build him it's just oh there's so much to do because i couldn't pre-grind for a lot of the mats so now we gotta figure it out now it's gonna be a lot of work but our first order of business is just gonna be getting this statue of seven right away so we can see the entire region and it will open up to us so let's open this statue of seven and hopefully it gets most of the region oh it gets it all oh we just get the whole region oh sick oh that's awesome oh and there's the boss there it is set it set it could win not sure okay well now we have to find our way to it that's gonna be a ton of fun and there's like a million checkpoints around here a lot of exploring to do we're gonna only focus on the boss for today though that's that's gonna be our main focus all right, let's switch over our party because I'm not going to be using my all dendro party to explore this region. We're going to use a more legitimate one like my Tartaglia party, which is just an electro charge comp, which does pretty well against most things. So we're going to try it out in this region. Oh, you arrive at the cannon, but your path has been barred. What? Oh, don't tell me I have to do a quest. No, I don't want to do a quest. No. Okay, guys, I've escaped the dialogue. I have ran away as far as I fathomably can because I do not want to have to deal with that. And we're going to get back on track on locating that boss. Hopefully, we're able to find it. Luckily, we got a path of vines leading us there. Straight to that boss. And that tornado is absolutely gigantic. I assume that's probably going to be a natural disaster we're going to want to stop at some point. And we'll get to it eventually. Okay, I'm, I'm getting really close to the boss. I can see him on the mini-map. I think he's just going to be in that hole, right? He has to be. Where else would he be? Big boss enemy, I'm coming for you. Oh, a viewpoint and a teleport waypoint. Oh, let's get that first. And bop, there we go. And viewpoint as well, why not? Damn, this place looks desolate. Is that a ruin guard? Yo. All right, let's jump in the hole now. Big boss enemy. Ooh, Dendro Oculus right there though. Hello. And swoosh, let's go. And let's fight the boss. Let's see what damage we can do to him. Hello there, Sedith Wakanut. You're dead now. I, this is probably not the best team for this boss fight, but we're going to try it out anyways. This is more of an AoE team rather than a single target team. But we're actually doing pretty good damage to him, so I can't complain too much. He's already almost down half his health. Let's go. Okay, he's back underground. That's awesome. Use attacks with specific elemental swirls to the... What are you talking about? Oh, I did it. Oh, nice. I don't know how I did that. I did something. I'm gonna be honest, I did not read that text. I just kind of skimmed through it, and apparently I did it. Let's go. Come on, get him before he goes underground. Let's go. He's dead. That wasn't too bad. That took me about a minute or so. I'll just have to do that 20 more times. Give me three. Oh, I got two. And a trash feather. Oh, okay. Well, now we have two Pusudu Stamens out of 26. We got a lot of grinding to do. And to be completely honest, we do not have the resin to do all that grinding. And I have zero fragile resin, not one. We can probably get one from the teapot. I know you have fragile resin for me, or transient resin, I think it's called. Transient resin, let's go. All right, we got a transient resin, but I'm gonna be honest, 60 resin ain't gonna be enough. We're gonna need to buy the battle pass. Rhythm and rhyme, we're gonna buy the big big $30 version so we can get that big 10 battle pass levels and then also five fragile resin on top of that okay we have our five fragile now that should be enough to hopefully get all Haytham all his boss materials if not we got two more fragile resin here and we can get something here i guess sure look at all that we got two more fragiles from that bringing our total count up to one transient seven fragile and if we have to, we'll use some primos, I guess. I also happen to have four condensed, which we will be using later. But while we're waiting for that boss to respawn, why don't we do a bit of grinding for his mob materials? He needs 
some faded red Satan, Satan, Satan from the Aramites. So let's go kill some Aramites and get some of those. So hopefully we have enough to take all his talents and his ascension to the maximum. Now that should be enough for all his talents and everything else. I might just have to do a bit of crafting. I do have like 184 of the gray bandanas and I need probably a lot more of the trimmed red silk ones. So we're gonna craft just a couple more into that variety instead. So we could probably just craft a bunch here, like 40, probably even more than that. I can craft more than 40. Yeah, we'll do, we'll do seven more. There we go. And that gives us 179143. Sounds like enough. I don't know if it will be. If it's not, that's okay. We can always just grind it more. Oh, and I, oh, and I don't think I ever established what I want to do with Al Haytham in terms of level and talent level. So my goal for Al Haytham is to get him to level 80 and to get his talents to 777. From what I understand, you do need to level his normal attack because his E fuses his normal attacks with Dendro, I believe. That's, re that's what I read online, so if it's not true and I end up wasting talents, book materials, do not blame me and call me dumb. Call the one website that I read dumb. But anyways, yes, we are going for 777 on him. That is our goal. As for artifacts, I don't think we'll get to those today. If we do, it's just going to be like picking pieces from other characters instead of building a whole new set. And then weapon, again, we're just going to have to pick something from another character because I don't have time to upgrade a whole new weapon today. That's going to be a, a bit of effort, but I think in the long run, I do want to upgrade this weapon for him. This is such a cool weapon, and I really just want to use it on somebody. Again, I just don't think I have the mass to upgrade it right now, though. Well, I actually might. You never know. I, don't, I haven't used these things, I don't think, once. I might actually have the mass to upgrade it. We'll see how far we can take it. Oh, shoot, I forgot. I have no handguards after stupid Scaramouche. I completely forgot about a handguards. Okay, well, we'll save that for another time. I'll build this weapon uh, eventually. I don't think I want to gr grind a bunch of handguards today with all the new content and stuff. But now that we've stalled enough time fighting those annoying things, this boss should have respawned. And I'm going to try defeating him with a better party this time. This is my best party. It is Ayaka, Shenha, Kazuha, Kakomi. I use this for almost everything in the game because it's just such a killer party. And hopefully this team will get it done a little faster. We'll see. We're going to put down this. We're going to put down this. And we're just going to go Ayaka Burst. We'll fuse it too. Hopefully that makes it do a little more. Bro, we, he's already almost dead. He's already almost dead. Oh, I'm so close. We'll put up both Kazuha and Shenha Burst. There we go. Oh, shoot. I couldn't get him in time. Oh, I was so close to just killing him immediately. It was so unbelievably close. If he just stopped moving for a second. There he goes. And he's down. And he's dead. Oh, that's so easy. I love that boss. That boss is a joke. Give me three. Let's go. Three and God Goblet? No. All right. Well, I'm probably going to go kill that boss 15 more times off screen because it's going to take me a while before I can do anything else. So I'm going to go get 26 of those little boss materials for our boy I'll hate them and then I will be right back. Bang, and die to Ayaka, burst. Boom, and that was the last run of this boss I had to do. I have to replenish my resin again, and 40 more resin, and no matter what, we have enough here. Three, we take it. And a god goblet? Not today. Okay, so moving on, we do need to do the talent dungeon for all Haytham, because right now, uh, I do not have all the talent books I need. I need, like... 60 or 70 of these and I only have 18. I do have enough golds and I do have enough grays. I just need a ton of blues. I have a couple condensed that I can throw into this domain and hopefully I can get enough. And to be honest, I have about like an hour or 30 minutes until it's, you know, midnight and then the time's going to change and it's going to be a new domain. So I am on a time crunch here to get this domain done. I'm just going to start speed running this domain. You're not gonna get, I'm going to be so speedy you won't even see me complete it. Bang. Bang. 
Okay, this isn't so speedy. I didn't even group them up. I didn't even group them up. What am I doing? I am trash. 40 seconds, not the most speedy thing ever. Uh, I just realized four condensed is only gonna get me 20 blue books, about maybe 30 after I craft the after I craft the green ones into the blue ones, but ooh, it's gonna be a little tight. I think I need a lot more than that. Hopefully we're able to get it all though. Shenna burst, Kazua burst, Kokomi burst. Wait, Kokomi burst doesn't do anything. And Aika burst. And you're dead. Nice. 36 seconds that time, we take that. I actually don't need gold. And I didn't get any? Cool. Golds are like a nice extra bonus, but I actually have all the golds I need if I want to take them to 777. I kind of like to do everything at once and then just kind of do like one huge upgrade session. So that's why I'm grinding everything before I upgrade him. That was fast. What was that? 30 seconds. Let's go. Last condense. Give me like 6-6. Six, six. Oh, we got a gold on the last one. Okay. Unneeded gold, but I guess we take it anyways. Now, I'm going to go craft some blue books and hopefully we have enough to take al Haytham all the way to his maximum potential so we need to keep nine brown books to take his talents to 222 two, two, but we can craft the rest of our books if i can find it okay here we are we'll use eula gives us double the talent material and we'll craft 10 please give me like 10 doubles watch oh not one <laughs> Damn. Oh, that's great. That leaves us with 14, 45, 11. Oh, that's not enough blues. I need like, I think like 20 more. Oh, that sucks. I can craft a few more condensed. I'm going to do that. Go do a couple more domain runs. And by the time I'm done those domain runs, we should have everything we need for all Haytham. All right. I think this is our last domain run. I just did four more and we should have enough talent books now. I forget how many it takes just to upgrade talents to level six. It's quite a lot, especially if you're upgrading all three. Check our inventory. We have 2659. That should be okay. We now have enough of the talent materials to take him to his maximum level. Now the last thing that we have to do, we did boss materials, we did talent materials, we did mob materials. I have the more, I have the EXP books. The last thing we have to do is the dreaded world material. Now the problem with this material is, is that it's new and this material literally just came out in this new region. So nobody has teleport waypoints unlocked yet, including myself. And because it just came out, everybody's gonna be grinding these. So finding somebody to let me grind in the world is gonna be extremely challenging. So I'm gonna do this all off camera and you guys are just gonna see a short compilation of the struggle I go through to try and get these little rock thingies. I'll be right back after I go and collect a bunch of these. Bro, what the heck is this thingy? Die! Bro, that thing's terrifying! Why is it a huge snake? Why is there so many snakes in this update? Let me go! Alright, I believe we are coming up on the last couple stone things that we need. I forgot their name already. Stone pupa, something like that. But we're coming up on the last ones we need here. After this, we should have everything we need to ascend our Alhatham unless we die to these missiles first. We're fine. Oh my gosh, bro. There's so many enemies around here. Leave me alone. One, two, three. Uh, bro, I hate that drill thing that just comes out of the ground. It's terrifying. And then four, five, and we're done. Okay, I'm out of here. Peace. Back to the safety of Sumeru we go. Alrighty, we now have everything we need to ascend all Alhatham. We have his boss mats. We have the world mats. We have everything. Let's go ahead and start upgrading him. First ascension. And the final ascension, level 80. Here we come. Let's get all these EXP books. I don't know if I have enough to take him to 80. I pray that I do. I think 134 should be enough, but we're gonna see. It's gonna be really tight. Oh, we're so close. How far away are we? Oh my goodness, like a fraction away. Do I have enough of these? I might have enough of these, oh, but I have to wait 62. You know what? We'll leave him at 79 for right now. I'll get these four EXP books eventually, even though it's going to annoy me. 
We also get two more quaint fates. All right, we have him at his uh, maximum potential now in terms of level. I do not plan on taking him to level 80 unless I'm feeling ambitious. Weapon, we already talked about his weapon. I'm going to be running him on the Tokabo Shigure, uh, which I have to get some of the old handguards for, which I will do in a future video maybe. We will see. Artifacts, I think from what I understand, his best in slot set is the Gilded Dream set. So I would love to get good artifacts for him, but unfortunately I just don't have them yet. So his artifacts are gonna have to wait. But we did get everything to take his talents up. So let's do that real quick. You're taking all three of his talents to level seven as discussed previously. Bro, look at all this text on this one, Jesus. And now let's take them to their final level. The normal attack, level seven, the E, level seven, and the burst is now level seven. Let's go. I swear if that normal attack upgrade was a waste, I'm gonna be triggered, but we'll move on. And I think that is gonna be my Althatham. We got his weapon, we got his talents. I'm missing a couple artifacts. We could put some substitute artifacts on him for right now, just so we can test him out for a little bit. Maybe have a little fun in a couple domains or whatnot. You can just put, put like a two-piece Dendro set on him for right now. I'm sure that'll be fine and, and work dandy with him. And then I guess we could also go two-piece attack percent. That could also work. Let's let's try that. Take that, take that, and then just any feather you can take. That one, sure. And then as for weapons, I should probably get you off a level 40 weapon because I don't want to test you with that. We'll put you on Jade Cutter because it matches your character really well. Actually, Jade Cutter looks so sick on him. Oh my goodness. Okay, what does that leave you at? 76, 197, 119 recharge, 83 dendro damage bonus. I think that's pretty good. I like that. Let's try using him. So as for party, I think you probably just want to do a bunch of different dendro comps, I imagine. Something like, I'll hate them in the front, and then we'll have Fischl as support. I feel like that's a good option. And then if we want to do Hyper Bloom and those kind of things, we can put somebody like Yaelon or Zing Cho. And then we'll have Kuki as healer. And I think this is the team we're going to run. Let's go try this in the Abyss. I hope the Abyss hasn't reset, because if it is, I will have to start back all the way at level 9. And that's not going to be much fun to test on, because level 9 is an absolute joke. Okay, it did reset. Well, I guess we're testing at level 9 then. <laughs> we'll just do Chamber 1. And we'll just see what we're capable of. Unfortunately, Chamber 1 is like a bunch of like uh, opponents that are like stretched out throughout the map. So we are going to need somebody to group. So we can't go with that team comp we discussed. So instead, I'm going to go all Haytham, Fischl. And then instead of doing Hyper Bloom, I guess we'll just do Aggravate. And we'll use Kazoha as a grouper. And we'll do that. So let's try this out. Let's see how good all Haytham really is. Because from honestly, from his trial, he looked pretty damn good. Okay, we're gonna do this. We're gonna everybody come towards me. We're gonna group you all together. Never mind. I guess we just group those two. And let's go all hate them. Bro, he's so cool. That aggravate does so much. Aggravate does so much damage. Oh my goodness. And burst. Oh, I missed everything. I missed literally everything. Okay, this time we're not gonna miss. Oh, it's already done. Oh, that's it. Oh, that's it. I forget how ridiculously easy floor 9 is. I don't even think I you gotta use all Haytham all that much. But you know what? He looks pretty cool. His damage was pretty high. I'm hyped to use him. And I hope you guys got him on your own accounts. Let me know how your wishes went in the comments below. Anyways, I think that is going to be the end of our video for today. If you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see more in the future, please consider subscribing or leaving a like down below. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.